This demonstration illustrates the procedures for installing and configuring the new license management system introduced with Networker 9. All right, so in this demonstration, we're going to be installing the new license management system or the license server that is used with Networker 9.0. And you can see we've got our Networker server installed here. And if we look at these messages down here, we can see an error message saying the uh, CLP, the Common License Platform, Elms, uh, basic license, basically telling us that we cannot find the license file. And so we need to acquire one. So it basically what that is telling us, what all these messages are telling us is you need to license your server. So the, the way we're going to do this is first we need to install our license manager. So we're going to go into our software downloads and we have downloaded the license server. And this is a separate download, so you're going to want to download that separately. And what we're going to do is double click it and install it. So it comes up with our license server setup wizard. We're going to click next. We are of course going to accept the license agreement. And again, we're going to click next. So now we're asking for the install path. We're going to leave the default installation path. Choose next again. And now we're going to tell it to install. So the installation is completed. We're going to click finish. Now we have the license server installed. Now what we need to do is go ahead and do the configuration for it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our install path. So C colon backslash program files. We're going to go to the license server and we need to create two new directories. We're going to create one called Elms ELMS. And within that, we're going to create another one called licenses. So what we've done is we've created the folder that's going to house our license file. Now the license file we get from EMC licensing, and in our case we've already acquired it. We've got it here. Ours is called dpa.lic. Yours might be called something different. The extension will be lic though, and that's the important thing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this file and we're going to copy it into two locations. So we're going to copy, we're going to go back to the directory we just created elms licenses and we're going to paste it here so we've got it there and then the next place we're going to put it is actually in the networker installation so we're going to go to program files emc networker and we're going to go to nsr and then we have a new directory called lic and in here we're going to paste it as well so we've taken our license file we've copied it into two locations the first was the location that we created so the the nested folder and the second was this program files EMC Networker NSR LIC. Now that we've got our license file there, what we need to do is go ahead and create our license service. So using the LM Tools application that was installed with the license manager, we're going to double click that and launch it. Now we're going to switch to the Configure Services tab. And on this tab, we need to set a couple of items. So the first thing we need to do is set our path to the lmgrd.exe, uh, so the LM license manager executable. And that is going to be in the program files, EMC license server, and it's going to be this guy right here. So we'll hit open. And next is going to be our path to the license file. So we're just telling it where we put it. So it's under Elms, it's under Licenses, and we're telling it this is our license file. Next, we're going to check the box that says Use Services. So this is going to create a service to run as our license service. And we want this to start at Power Up. So we're going to tell it to start right there. The next thing we want to do is say Save this service, and we'll tell it yes. And what we're doing is we're creating a new service called FlexLM Service 1 and it's going to be using these options to do so. So we'll say yes. Okay, now that we've done that, we can go into this tab called Start, Stop, Reread. And what this lets us do is start and stop our service as well as reread the license file. So in our case, we're just going to kick Start Server. And that's going to start our server for us. And we can see in the status message down here that the server has started successfully. And that's it. So we're done with the license manager. We can close that. Now all we need to do is go back into our networker server and we're going to go over to the server tab and we're going to go to the server properties option and we've got a tab here called licensing and what we want it to do is we want it to refresh so we're going to take this box 
and we're going to change the no to yes and we click OK and now if we go to registrations we can see we are now licensed so we can see now that we are licensed and that our server has been licensed and that's it now that we have our CLP capacity license listed in there our licensing is done and these messages will clear out This demonstration illustrated the procedures for installing and configuring the new license management system included with Networker 9.0. Thank you.